Brian, you said to, to Governor Christie, please don't let my daughter die, Governor. Explain to people why, for your daughter, medical marijuana could be the difference between life and death. Well, every day, Vivian suffers seizures, uh, some full on tonoclonics, other small minor ones. Those are all taking a, a, a toll on her body, her mind, her heart. Uh, she has stopped breathing several times during seizures. She can also die of SUDEP, which is sudden unexplained uh, death in epilepsy at any moment. Uh, there was a time period uh, in April, there were four children with Dravet syndrome who died. Uh, it's a real factor in this disorder. And unless we can control those seizures that she's having, which the drugs, the, you know, the heavy pharmaceuticals that she's on, they're failing to do. So unless we can control those seizures, um, she stands a very good chance like the other children of dying. And, and medical marijuana, especially these high CBD, low T THC strains, have shown some great promise uh, in all the children who've been taking them. And you know, we just need to get her on that to save her life. Otherwise, you know, she could very easily die. Oh, I can't imagine what this is like for, for, for your family to see this and for, for you. Just, just to be clear, though, kids can be prescribed medical marijuana in New Jersey right now. It, it's the current restrictions that, that you take issue with, correct? Correct. Uh, Vivian has a mar marijuana card, uh, but the program in New Jersey um, was pretty much regulated out of functionality. Nothing about the regulations really allow the program to exist and run. Uh, the bill that we have on the governor's desk right now is trying to help ease some of those regulations so that it can actually um, become an operational uh, program. And we just cannot get what she needs. We can't get any CBD strains. She would only be able to smoke it if she got it. Uh, and you know, the, the, the restrictions for doctors, for any other children who want to get on the program is just so onerous. We're talking about a medicine here. Uh, it should be treated like a medicine. It should be prescribed by a single doctor and you should be able to get it in, in, a, in a strength and a form that's required for the specific ailment you have. Yeah, the idea that you're gonna have a two-year-old smoking marijuana is obviously r ridiculous. The, the kind of marijuana you're talking about would be in, uh, in an oil or a throat lozenge, correct? Right, well, well, they allow throat lozenges currently in the law, but they haven't approved any, and Vivi on her diet wouldn't be able to take any. Also, a two-year-old could very easily choke on a lozenge. So this current law only allows for the plant or a lozenge. We're looking for like an oil, a butter, some sort of an extract. The law doesn't allow for any other extracts, and we're trying to change that so you know, Vivian and the other patients can get the medicine in the forms they need. You could even put it in a gel cap. You know, out in Colorado, you, you get your prescription, you get capsules. Take two in the morning, take two at night. You know, it's it's yeah. In, this, in is a, L this is medication. In Los Angeles, in clinics, in uh, in some of these marijuana clinics, uh, they have it in gelato or in ice cream. I, I suppose that that would be uh, something a two-year-old would would like. Sa Sanjay, in general. What's the science in terms of medical marijuana for children? We're talking about a two-year-old child here, and I guess some people are going to say, wow, two years old, that sounds young to be taking medical marijuana. Yeah, no, no doubt, and I think, you know, you want to proceed with caution, certainly. Um, there, there's more data sort of looking at seizure disorders overall. Uh, what Brian's describing, and I saw with, with young Charlotte as well in our documentary, is uh, sort of an intractable uh, type of seizure where it's just very, very difficult to treat. And uh, Charlotte was on seven different medications as well. Um, Brian's right. You know, th there is some data that's been collected by some of the uh, doctors in Colorado, as well as some of the dispensary owners of uh, the Stanley Brothers, uh, of about 41 patients, I believe now, all children with Dravet syndrome. Uh, I think 80%, they said, had significant improvement. All of them had, had some improvement, but 80% had significant improvement where they didn't need the other medications anymore. But, but Sanjay, in terms of your position now, you've, you've done a 180 on this. Yeah, I think, look, I mean, I, I saw firsthand, uh, you know, obviously not just Charlotte, but lots of other patients who uh, clearly have a significant problem here. I mean, th this intractable epilepsy, Charlotte was having 300 seizures a week. You heard Brian describe what's happening with Vivian. So they have a legitimate problem. And, and the, we know that this cannabis, this medical cannabis, which again is, is high CBD, low THC. That may sound like alphabet soup to people, but high CBD is the medicinal part of it. THC is the psychoactive part of it. These kids aren't getting high, they're getting a medicine. And also in Charlotte's case, she was taking an oil as Brian described, so this isn't you know, someone smoking it. But they, they, they got better from this when nothing else worked. Hey, Brian, are, are you considering moving if, if he vetoes the bill? Absolutely. You know, we've, we've already been looking uh, at, you know, areas to move to in Colorado. Uh, there's actually quite a migration going on currently. Right after uh, Dr. Gupta's uh, special aired on the Pediatric Cannabis Therapy Board on Facebook, there was uh, 
whole bunch of new registrants and a bunch of new people saying, how do we get to Colorado? And how, you know, a lot of, a lot of parents with kids with these severe disorders who are very, very interesting. You know, the, the parents are waking up to this and, and you know, we demand uh, that our kids can be healthy and that we can make those decisions with our doctors about what's right for our, our children.